These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix. I mean, we got a really great PS2 game tutorial today. And basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you as a refresher course, how do you add games to your internal hard drive for your fat PS2. And I'm using a IDE to USB adapter. And we're going to use a program called WinHip. So I'll show you real quick how to transfer those games. But most importantly, how do you get your cover art to show for your games for OPL usage? And that's the most important question that I've got a lot of times in the past. So I decided, hey, let's just put both topics into one concise video. If you already know how to install games, I do apologize in advance. By all means, fast forward to about halfway through the video and we'll get to the art section as well. Okay, so what you want to do is let's make sure you have a PS2 hard drive. So I have a PS2 hard drive. It's connected to my computer. I screwed up here because I should have ran my WinHip as an administrator. So let's do that right now. And we go to Select Drive. We see that here's my PS2 hard drive. And I have a game on here. What I'm going to do just for uh, conciseness is let's just format this hard drive. So if you have a hard drive that's larger than 128 gigabytes, I do believe, if you go to Options, you go to Override Application Mode, you want to make sure it's 48-bit HD loader. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to format this drive quick. Say OK and just format this. It's going to do a quick erase. Please make sure you're formatting the correct hard drive partition, guys. I'm not held liable if you accidentally screwed up and formatted the wrong partition on your computer. Okay, so this is just about done. Okay, excellent. So we're good here. So now, one thing you want to do is go ahead, get your PS2 ISOs. Maybe you got them, I don't know, you ripped them from your own game library. Maybe you got them online. Whatever the case may be, put them into a, a folder structure that you're going to remember. So what I did on my desktop is I have a, a folder called PS2 ISOs and here I have another folder called OPL. Inside this folder, most importantly, I have a DVD folder. Inside the DVD folder is where I dump my games. If you don't have all these other folders, don't worry about it. I do believe OPL Manager will also make them as well. But if you want to make these manly, by all means, go ahead. But for today's topic, we're going to be most interested in the DVD folder and also the art folder. Okay. So what we're going to do now is make sure I'm on a clean slate. I'm going to go to my art folder. And I'm just going to delete all these files here. Just make sure we're all clean. Okay. So now, in the video description, we'll be using a program called OPL Manager. I talked about it in a previous video, but at the time it's recording today, it's actually version 20. So let's go ahead, run this program, right click it, doesn't hurt, run as administrator. And this is what the program looks like. Now, let me show you how to set the path first, because we see that I already had a path from before, and it's saying that my three games have a bad ISO. Uh, naming not a problem so what you want to do is go to settings go to change mode slash OPL folder make sure you have the first radio button selected at the top left hand corner and then under browse just go to where your OPL folder is like the main parent OPL folder not the subdirectories and click on save okay so now what you want to do you know it's working because it recognizes your games uh, either good or bad so let's fix all these guys first thing is let's get the title from the database so what you want to do is select your name. Let me just maximize this program. And let me just move this guy to the left here. Okay, so what you want to do is click your name of the game, say over here, get title from database, and it gets the title. Do the same thing for your other games, just in case. Okay, great. Now what you want to do is go back to each of your games and say try update file name. And keep on doing that for all your games. And now we have no bad ISOs, great. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's add the cover art. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to Batch Actions, go to Art Download. Over here on the right-hand side, select whatever you want. I actually have everything selected, and then I just click on Start. It's, it's uh, getting this stuff from the server, and then momentarily you have, to the best of the ability of the program, you know, various screenshots for your game. So now here we see the games, and you got the art folder. Great. Um, one thing you want to do is go ahead, take like a FAT32 USB uh, thumb drive and uh, plug that into your computer because what you want to do is copy the art folder to your thumb drive. So let me just get my thumb drive real quick. I'm going to plug it into my USB hub. Okay, so this is my um, USB hard drive. Actually, it's a USB thumb drive. And inside here is the art folder, so I'm just going to delete all my stuff here. So if I go back to my desktop, like I said, you go into your OPL folder that you created. 
you go into the art folder and you see that OPO manager dumped all the art files into this art folder. So what you can do is you can right click, you can say copy, go to your USB thumb drive, right click, paste it. It's gonna paste all the files. Okay, so we're good from that standpoint. And then now what we gotta do is just add the games to your PS2 hard drive. So let's go back to WinHIP, right click, run as administrator. Okay, so here we select the drive, select my, uh-oh. So go select the drive, <laughs> select the correct drive, um, drive three. Now we go to add image. Now we say image files. Now we say add image and go ahead, add your games. You can actually drag and drop or draw a box, which is pretty cool. Say open, add your games here and click on start. So what it is doing now is actually taking your game that's properly renamed on the file name from OPL Manager is taking that game and putting it onto your PS2 hard drive. Okay, so in this particular case, I have three games. It won't take too long, so I'm not gonna edit it and skip forward. Uh, so we'll just talk about the process in general. Okay, so at the very end, once you have all your games added to your PS2 hard drive, then what you wanna do is you plug in that PS2 hard drive into your PS2, you get your USB thumb drive, plug that into your PS2, and then you turn on your PS2, of course, right? And then what you wanna do is you go to Ulaunch Elf, okay? So inside Ulaunch Elf, you're gonna navigate to your, your um, USB uh, thumb drive, or it could be a hard drive, depending on what, you, you know, what your case will be. Regardless, your USB device, you copy that art folder, and we will navigate into the hard drive the internal hard drive of the PS2 using Ulaunch Elf and copy and paste that folder into the OPL partition basically. After you've done all of that, then finally when you run OPL, when it recognizes your internal hard drive, it's going to recognize that you have A, a properly renamed game, and B, it's going to recognize your properly renamed art files, and then it's going to showcase them within the OPL program. And then from there, you can just select your game and play. And you know, when you have your friends over, your family over, whatever, you say, hey, look at me, I got a real cool OPL game library. Here's my games, here's my uh, cover art. So it's almost like, you know, you know, like a Netflix for your PS2 game library, basically. So that's the idea in a nutshell. I'm not trying to overcomplicate the things. It's real simple once you do this a couple times. Basically, copy your games over to your hard drive, make sure they're named properly using OPL Manager, and then also use OPL Manager to get all the cover art files into the art folder. And then you just copy and paste the art folder into that, you know, into your PS2 hard drive. So I apologize. That seems so simple. I probably oversimplified the whole process in 30 seconds. And this video is going to be longer than like five minutes for sure. But that's okay because this is all learning experience. I know there's a lot of newbies out there. And this is all good information. Okay, so we see that the images have been installed. So we click on OK. We click on exit and that's it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to eject this USB uh, adapter that I have, IDE to USB adapter. I'm going to eject that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my hard drive. I'm going to plug into my PS2 with my USB thumb drive. I'm going to turn on my capture software and uh, show you how to finish off the rest of this video. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are at the main menu of Frame McBoot. Let's do this. So let's go into Ulaunch Elf. So once you launch Elf has loaded, go ahead and press circle. Make sure you plug in your USB thumb drive or hard drive that has an art folder. So let's go into mass. And the easiest way here is let's just copy the, the entire art folder. So go to art, press R1 and say copy. Go to the double dots and go to your hard drive zero and go to your OPL partition, the plus OPL. If you don't have this, what you want to do is run OPL first with their internal hard drive installed so that it can make the appropriate file structure and then go back to this you launch Elf screen. So once you have the OPL partition, you press circle and then go to the double dots here by default, press R1 and say paste and say OK. So now it's merging the files from your USB thumb drive or hard drive, the art folder and copying it over to your internal hard drive. Great. Now we're done. So now let's go ahead, go to double dots, double dots, go to MC0 or MC1 for your free boot memory card, go to boot and run OPL. And if you have your OPL already pre-configured to load up your hard drive, what we'll see momentarily is the internal hard drive booting up, OPL detects the games, and it'll show the cover art for the games. It's pretty cool. So if I go to my games here, internal hard drive, we see here's the games. 
here's the cover art and you're ready to have a lot of good times and real quick here let's go over my OPL settings so if I go to settings here we see that my hard drive device start mode is set to auto that's pretty important and then go to OK and then under display settings make sure that enable cover art is on um, actually I have all these on I think they're good to have say they're all on say OK and say save changes and then go ahead and reboot your PS2 go back to OPL and you'll see your cover art and that's pretty much it and you already have a lot of good times here I'm sure that there's a a genius way of renaming the game files here and the cover art so it's not so you know verbose with text here but if you have a, a a great idea let me know how that works and maybe i'll make a follow-up tutorial on that regard but anyways that's today's video game tutorial if you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page and i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye